All right. So now I'm gonna show you how to put the homebrew channel on your Wii, so you can install all the good channels, so you can play all the retro games. So first things first, what you're gonna need? Of course, you're gonna need a Wii. Then you're gonna need a SD card, probably like a gig, at least a gig SD card. And you're also gonna need your Wii to be on version 4.3. And the way to find out what version your Wii is on is you go down to the Wii menu and you go over to your Wii settings. Okay, and if you look in the top right hand corner, it'll say ver whatever you have. As you can see, we're on version 4.3U. Okay, so now we're on version 4.3U. If you're not on version 4.3U, you're going to have to update it in order to install the homebrew channel this way. The only way I know how to install the update at this point since they shut down the servers is you're going to need to do it by CD. Um, there are a few CDs that have the 4.3 update. It also has the iOS 58 on it, which you will also need. So it will give you both of those. Um, one CD that I know that has it is Generator Rex. Um, you probably can Google a list of Wii games that have the 4.3 update. So once you get on 4.3, the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need the Wii's MAC address. So in order to get that, we're going to go back into this Wii options. We're going to go back to the settings. Okay, and then we're going to navigate over to the right and we're going to click on Internet. Okay, and we're going to click on Console Information. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this MAC address right here, take a picture of it, write it down or something. What you're going to do is you're going to take that and we're going to have to insert it into the computer in order for some things to happen. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go over to the computer and we're going to do that. So you're going to take your nice, lovely SD card and go ahead and put it in your computer. Okay, and then you're gonna go to this website called Hack Me. And there's the there's the URL. It's please.hackme.com. When you get there, this is what the page is gonna look like. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna enter your MAC address into these blocks. So you're gonna start here with this one, and you're gonna enter your MAC address, and it'll automatically go to the next one for you. So you go ahead, enter your MAC address that you have. Okay, once you've entered your MAC address, you're gonna go down here. See, I'm not a robot. We're not robots. Oh, God. You're gonna deal with this real quick. The 9 million crosswalks. I hate this. Shit. Hold on. Fucking crosswalks. Alright, I think that's all of them. I can't really see through the camera. Okay, cool. You're gonna cut a wire. Pick a wire. I'm picking a real one. Okay, this is going to pop up. We're just going to hit open with, and you should have WinRAW. If you don't have WinRAW, you need to get with the program. It's 2019. Give it a second. It's going to download. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to extract all of these files. You really don't need all of them, but we're going to extract all of these files to your SD card. So what you want to do is make sure that this has the blue thing there. What that is going to do is make sure it's pulling all of the files. You want to click Extract to. Now, you want to find your SD card that you inserted earlier, the little SD menu. You want to click on that, and you want to click OK. Now, if you have anything there, click Yes to All. OK, and when you're finished with that, we're all done here. You can close that out, and you take your SD card, and we're going to go back to the Wii. So, we kindly go back over here, and we're going to put this SD card in this nice little Wii here. Give me one second. Okay. As these cars in the Wii, we're going to back out. We're going to back all the way back out to the main menu. Now, when we get back to the main menu, what we're going to do, hold on one second, we're going to focus first. We're going to go down here to the letter menu. 
So you click on the letter menu. And we're going to go to the left one time. If you go there one time and it doesn't work, go back to the right. And there it is. We're going to click on that. And we're going to give it a second to load. It may take a minute. What it's doing is it's loading everything up, reading your system. And what it's doing right here is that MAC address that you entered is setting everything up for your specific Wii. If you try to use that MAC address on anybody else's Wii, it's not going to work. So anytime you want to put a homebrew channel on a Wii, you're going to have to get that Wii specific MAC address. I'm going to be a cheap ass. Just go through the process. It doesn't take long. So we're going to give this a minute here. It's not frozen or anything. What it's doing is it's loading everything up. And then you're going to see something pop up at the bottom in a second that tells us to press 1. So we're just going to give it a second here. Okay, that was quick. We're going to press 1. And it's going to bring us here. Now, you'll see. You press A to continue. Now, we're going to go up. We're going to go to install homebrew and we're going to press A. Okay, we're going to go up to yes. We're going to click yes. And it's going to install the homebrew channel for us. Success. We're done. You click OK. Click the A to continue. And you go down to exit. Don't click on anything else except exit when you're done. Now, if you did this properly, it should bring you here to the nice homebrew channel. There was nothing on the SD card. It was just the homebrew install. That should be the only thing on that SD card when you're doing this. Do not have anything else on that card. I should have said that in the beginning. I'll make a note in the description. But it should bring you here. And from here, if you insert the SD card, one of ours probably, it's going to pull up a shitload of different options and menus. And if you want to exit your homebrew channel, you just hit the home button. And you go down and exit the system menu. And it's going to take us back to the main menu. And there's a nice pretty homebrew channel. And with the homebrew channel installed now, this thing is ready to get fired up and actually be worth a damn. Okay, any questions, let me know. If you got any issues doing this, let me know. I know a lot of people aren't tech savvy. I understand that. I'll try to help you if I can. But uh, that's it for now. It shouldn't take too long. And it's downhill from there, I promise you. Have a good one.